It means more leisure and freedom. You're not taking any chances. I saw this thing work with my own eyes. I put every cent I've got into it. Well, Tom, if you've got faith in it, I guess I can gamble $20. All right, Bessie. Would you take a dollar? As much or as little as you like. This is a community proposition. Well, if it's good enough for you, pal, I can go 15. All right, Ed. Ed Brady, $15. Now, let me see if I've got all this. The basic patent remains the property of Brinker the inventor and Holmes the promoter. Mr. Gibson simply pays them a royalty for the use of the machines. That's right. Say, Tom, it might be pretty cumbersome having all these people with five, ten, fifteen dollar interest mixed up in the transaction. Can I pay them back what they put in with a hundred percent dividend and get their releases? Well, I don't know. I'll see them and tell you in the morning. Fine. Now, is there anything else you gentlemen want included? Not me. Yes, sir. One thing. Very important. These machines must not be used to throw anybody out of work or to cut salaries. We're leasing them to you for one purpose, to increase production, making our jobs easier, and to make our working hours shorter. <laughs> You're a real humanitarian, Tom. Well, how about it, Mr. Gibson? Go ahead. Put in the contract. I'm with Tom 100%. Mr. Gibson's in conference. You can't go in with him. I don't want to see Mr. Gibson. I want to see Tom Holmes. Now, get out of my way. Get over or I'll call the police. Please get out of my way or I'll suck in the jaw. Tom, come quick. Ruth just went to the hospital. Gosh, when? Just a few minutes ago. Come on. Hope it's a boy. I'll take anything I can get. Did you get our bench check? Ruth just went to the hospital. Well, what has Ruth got to do with it? Where is our check? She's having a baby. So much excitement for what? The world is full of babies. Even Billy goats have babies! Go on, girl. Get your uh, breakfast. <laughs> Bye. Bye, dear. I'll go. Bill, come back here. Where do you think you're going? Come on, get out there. I want to run my arm. Now, don't you be a little monkey. You can't do as Mommy says. Why can't I run my arm? Oh, now, I told you, honey, after breakfast. Mr. Gibson's had a heart attack. He's not. Yeah. He's dead. Oh. It's childishly simple, Ellen. We replace these gears with a centripetal cam. Can't understand why Gibson didn't think of it. Neither can I. Then we install a photoelectric cell which controls the whole thing, and there you are. You mean to say it'll make the whole job automatic? Absolutely. How many employees do you estimate we could drop? Three quarters of your entire manual labor? Cut our operating expenses almost to nothing. That's what I've been telling you, Ellen. And it wouldn't cost too much to install. Well, whatever it costs, you'll more than save in your wages in the first year. How long would it take you to install these machines in all our plants? 60 days, maybe less. Up to it, Jim. Work night and day. Never mind the expense. back with a big profit, 100%. What we got won't keep us a month without our jobs. 
I put up 10 bucks and got 20 back and lost a job that paid me 30 a week. Yeah, more leisure, more freedom. <laughs> Listen to me. I keep telling you, I put it in the agreement that none of us were to lose our jobs. Ah, shut up. We got fired, ain't we? You're a liar. Did you put it in the agreement how we're going to eat? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I've been fighting the new bosses for weeks, trying to show them how they broke the agreement. You sure must have been tough with them. You're still working, ain't you? No, they fired me today. <laughs>